Hold on. Oh, I love coffee. Oh, I just, I'm so American. Oh, I love coffee. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It's your girl, Princess, and today, you're probably wondering what is, who is this beautiful man on your head? First of all, it's Kim Tae Young, and secondly, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a DIY K-pop headband. Oh my God, this is amazing, look, this is so beautiful, and this is him. How to customize a K-pop headband with your bias. It can be from whatever group you want or whatever fandom, and I'm just gonna teach you guys how to go about it because it's super simple and easy. A lot of people been requesting it every k-pop concert i've been to everyone's like i'm walking around the stadium like for bts i saw them two nights in chicago and everyone was like is that oh my god Taeyang? is that Taeyang on your head and i'm just like yes it is kim Taeyang on my head the beautiful i'm sorry i just keep looking at this because like he is just amazing and i did a really good job if you guys want to learn how how, 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 huh? If you guys want to learn how to make a custom K-pop headband and make one personally for your bias for whatever concert you go to, then just keep on watching and I'll teach you how. So I'm going to be recording my process of making my Twice Lights with Young and Jihyo headband for the Twice Lights concert that I went to in Chicago. If you want to see the vlog, it will be up on your right. If wherever see i'll have i'll have my finger for wherever it needs to be if you want to look cute for your nice k-pop concert then keep watching love you guys okay stan so what you need to get started is a sturdy headband preferably like a plasticky metal some cardboard glitter background your idol's pretty fave glue tape and stapler so let's get started okay guys so first i'm just gonna look up um g heel twice HD, this is really important, HD. And that's something important to also remember for your idol, like if they've had any like iconic hair moments. Oh my God, like I want that one. Oh my gosh, she's so like, oh, ah, oh, this is so good for her. Or if you're not having luck on Google or anything like that, you could definitely go to Pinterest. That's where I got my Young ones. Keto key lime bars. I'm sorry, I just get so distracted. Like, yes, I want that like really bad. <laughs> and if there's like a specific event that you really like, or, like the quality picture trip that you really like, you can look up your fave and like that event. Oh my god. Oh my god. How bitch how? Oh my god, look at her like Oh my gosh, short hair, short hair, you heel slay me. So also when you, when it comes to picture shopping or like, you know, finding a picture basically, you should try to find one that's like unobstructed. You see how like there's nothing in the way of that? I wouldn't really pick that because it's just not a well-balanced picture. So now that I found a picture for my biases, I got one for Nayoung and Jihyo, as you can tell, those are my final ones. So what you wanna do now is you wanna make sure, like I'm doing in here, you wanna make sure that they're scaled together and that they're the same. So with the smaller image, if the person's face is smaller on one, you want to paste the smaller image to the larger image so that you can have it properly set so that they're not different sizes. So it's like, there's not one small one or one big one so now that we have the images and the faces are scaled they will guarantee to be the same size because we already tested it because we're smart icons we're just gonna print it out like normal I would recommend doing scale to fit because if you don't it'll just be weird and both of them will be small or at least scale it to that it can be the entire um, front facing side of the paper and then once you print it out it will look like this now what we're going to do is cut out the faces and then once you cut out the faces make sure to be like really close to their hairline and things like that no gaps because that looks ratchet and now we're going to go on to the cardboard so we just want to make sure the cardboard looks set out and it fits the size of it and i'm just looking at the glitter paper i have that i've used before to see which ones match better with their aesthetic so this part is also very crucial. When you're cutting around like as a border, you wanna make sure that it's no more than like one inch. Like that's why I'm slimming it down. You can see me cutting it. Or what is it for European people? Millimeters is it? 
I, uh, I don't know. The North American ed education system continues to fail us, and it failed me too. So, God damn it, I'm American. Am I supposed to know that? Probably. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. So, as you can probably see, I put way too much glue on Jihyo head. Um, to pass princess, I'm suing you. Um, how dare you do this to Queen Jihyo? I just want to remind you guys to not put that much glue. All you have to do is put a little bit, like... Princess, you're better than this. But let's just continue. So, right now, I'm just obviously doing the cardboard making sure it properly fits and if one side is like a little bit off like the top like if there's not everything on the top like that's okay because we are going to be stapling it so this is really important i recommend that you guys staple only a few times don't go crazy with the staples or just gonna look bad and obviously people can't see the staples from far away so in turn i would recommend to just do them along the edges the border quote unquote the border that we created So for this part, you really want to make sure that when you put it on the headband, it is tight and secure. No slip ups, no open pieces on the side, none of that BS. We are not playing that because when you're at the concert and you're you're waving your $60 light stick, yeah, I know that shit gets expensive um, and it falls off, that's not going to be looking cute. So just saying. So now I'm basically doing the same thing for Nayoung. Isn't she so pretty? Like, I'm in love with her. Like, I saw her at the concert. She was like glowing like a queen. Like, oh my god, I love her so much. So, yeah, I actually have only been a fan of Twice for like not even a month. <laughs> but the reason why I went to the concert is because I'm the president, or at least former president, because I'm not in school anymore. I am currently the president technically still of the korean pop culture club at our college and all of our members wanted to go see twice so i thought hey let's just make it a trip so our vice president our vp drove us down to chicago um and we spent all day there we went to chinatown and everything and you can definitely check that out in the vlog because it was like hella funny so i want you guys to leave in the comments what group you would do this with. I know there have been so many K-pop concerts. As a fan of K-pop for like seven years now, seeing all of my favorite groups come to North America basically virtually at the same time, like my wallet, like my credit card's like, girl, please stop. Like you're traumatizing us. Like <laughs> you broke sis, but like, hey, I saw Blackpink VIP. I saw BTS floor seats. Like nothing will stop me. Nothing will stop this fangirl. So I definitely want to know what cons you guys are going to next and where you will use it. Ooh, is it KCON LA? Ooh, we'll never know. Gotta tell me in the comments. Also, I forgot to mention for the bottom of the headbands, you really want to cut up that bottom so that it's not sticking out on your head. Tape it too. And this is what it looks like. Oh, look at that beast. Mm. I'm waiting on twice to knock knock on my door. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anywho, if you enjoyed watching this video and if you plan on doing this with a friend for your next K-pop concert or whatever, it can be 21 Pilots, Harry Styles, I don't care. Let me know and tag me on Instagram. Love you guys. Bye. You're my tear. You're my, you're my tear. Hey, one more can I say? You're my. I love that song. I love.